Hello there, you look mm, exquisite. And it has been a while since I've seen that wonderful face of yours. Let me just soak it in. That's enough soaking. Uh, hi there. As I always say, it's been a while. I'm sure someone could make a super cut of how many times I've said that. It's been more than two. It has been a while, and there's a few reasons as to why that is, and we'll get to that in just one moment. But just to catch you up with what I've been doing in my life, um, I mean, I obviously haven't been posting here very frequently, but if you do follow me on Twitter or Instagram, here's that username, if it's important to you, uh, then you probably have seen more about what I've been working on. And as a quick recap, in the time between now and when I last saw you, I have uh, completely released the first season of my show, Could You Survive the Movies, on Vsauce 3. If you haven't watched it, here's some footage of it. Oh, wow. Yee, explosions. So I did that. That was a dream come true for me. I've been working on that project in some form since... 2016. So to be able to actually then make it into this full-fledged series with so many of my friends, it was really exciting. Oh, I directed a pilot for another TV show. I am currently making a series for Samsung, which is really awesome. I, I like them a lot. They're really fun to work with. Oh, I was a guest host on another show, which is coming out later this year. There's been a lot of stuff, I guess. Uh, and I'll link to all that down there in the description if you want to check it out, give it a look. Oh, and the show that I made, my YouTube original, is free to watch, so yay, anyone can watch it. That's pretty cool. I was very excited about that. But all that stuff is gonna come in, it's not just me showboating, it's gonna come into play in just a moment that relates to the title of this video. Oh, another thing, I got new glasses. Check this out. Oh, they got red on the inside. Classy. But a good friend of mine recently, not recently, this is a few months ago, mentioned in regards to my vlogs that uh, they're kind of just pity parties, that he felt my intention in making these was just to get sympathy from people and a little pat on the back. And that, I wasn't upset that he thought that. It, it just made me feel like, is that what I'm doing? Is that why I, I make these videos? Because I don't think so. And, and what I expressed to him was, these videos, these vlogs are an expression of me, a very personal one. That's just how I feel on the inside. You know, in general, when I'm interacting with people, I'm usually happy-go-lucky, but here it, it weirdly feels more comfortable and I can be my introverted kind of dark self. I'm just very self-critical and I question everything I do, and in a lot of cases, I psych myself out. You shouldn't do this, you're not good enough to do it. And that really resonated with me when my friend was telling me this, because I had to revisit all my other videos on this channel and think about, was is that what I'm doing? When I first started this channel, I wanted it to be happy-go-lucky, and oh, look how weird I am. My Twitter and Instagram handles are Jake Rar. <laughs> but that wasn't really me. I mean, maybe it was at that point in time, you know, I was finding my footing with YouTube and it felt really good and I was expressing that. Now I'm in a different phase. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Regardless, here we are. And the point of this is to talk about when all this that I just mentioned relates to it, imposter syndrome and the fact that I feel like an imposter and I'm sure this isn't foreign to a lot of you. You might feel this way yourself. To put it as succinctly as possible, it's when you feel like the things that you're doing or the opportunities that you've been given or that you've earned or that you've achieved aren't deserving because you are just kind of faking your way through it and you don't think, how about this? The way that people think of you isn't how you think of yourself. Some people might be like, oh, that person's a genius. They're an incredible artist. They're a fantastic orator, whatever it is that you do. And you yourself are like, but I'm kind of garbage. I don't really feel that I'm good at this stuff. And that's what I felt a lot. And especially with the first season of Could You Survive the Movies, there was a lot of that because all these people have been in television or film for tens of years, a lot longer than I have. And I just was like, why am I here? What am I doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm very fortunate. I have like a large audience. My videos generally do okay. But does that mean that I'm actually good? Does it mean that I'm capable of leading a film crew with, you know, 50 people and budgets of lots of money and making something? Or is it just going to fail and then people are finally going to realize in the most spectacular way possible that I don't know what I'm doing? And I'm just naked in front of everyone just as a fraud. And that's how I felt for a lot of it. I still feel that way. When opportunities come in, I'm like, but me? This guy? I don't know. I don't think I'm really the best suited for that. And usually I use that as an advantage because it allows me to push myself in here to do better, to prove to myself that I'm not terrible. I, you might do this, but I have conversations with myself in the mirror every now and then in the morning where I motivate myself, usually in a self-deprecating way, but I motivate myself to do better, to be more so I can prove myself wrong. 
And I've been going through this a lot, and it's one of the reasons why it's taken so long to make videos on this channel, on Vsauce 3, is because I just don't believe in myself. And I think that eventually, people will find out that I'm a fraud. And if you look historically back at my vlogs, my Vsauce 3 videos, years ago I used to make a lot of them. I'd make a video every five days or so. So if one was bad, there was another one to replace it, right? To kind of cover it up, to be that carpet on top of the dirt and dust. But now I don't have as many, so everything I do make needs to be incredible to me because I don't have any way to hide it. It's just living there in open view for anyone to see, and there's not going to be another boulder to go on top of that one and another one to go on top of that one to kind of hide the pile that lies below. And that's what I've been juggling with, and I, I wish there was a fun or good answer that I had for how to get out of this funk. And what's interesting is that in my life outside of this, outside of creating, it's actually really great. You know, Fajita is doing, oh, just swell, look at that dashing gentleman. And my, my girlfriend's great, and you know, our life together is really wonderful, but there's still this part of me, and it's this wanting to do better part of me in terms of my, my job, as we'll call it, that I just, I have difficulty with. So what's the point of this video? I don't really know. It's I just want to get something out there and if, you know, I say this all the time, but the hardest part about making anything, about doing anything, is generally always yourself. It's you in your mind, faking yourself out, criticizing yourself, critiquing yourself, questioning yourself, and you have to get over that. And it's difficult sometimes. You know, I don't think there's ever going to be a point. I could win an Academy Award and I'd still think that I'm garbage and that I could do better. There's never going to be a point where I'm satisfied with that. And is that bad? I'm not specifically asking for answers here. And it goes back to my friend. The purpose isn't to, to be like, Jake, you're great. Jake, don't worry. It's about me getting this off my chest. It's about this being therapeutic in a way, which is how I've always kind of treated this vlog, is that it's a way for me to express how I feel, that doesn't need to be caressed into science or education, it's just me talking to a giant lens attached to a giant camera that will then be uploaded to the internet for anyone and everyone to judge or watch or come to their own conclusion, whatever. But what I do know is that I, and I say this every freaking time, I want to do more stuff. I've always wanted to make a tech video, I think I'm going to, there's a fun phone that I'm getting my hands on that I, I want to make a, a video about. Will it be as good as like a Marquez or a Sarah or a Jonathan or Austin video? Probably not, but it'll be mine. And then I'll, I'll just upload it, because why not? At least I made something and I shared it. And that's kind of that, that process, right? When it goes back to imposter syndrome. At least you did it. And you might always think that you're failing or that you're a fraud or that you're not worth the opportunities that you've gotten. But isn't that a fun chance to prove yourself wrong? To try it and to hope for the best? and to hope that you succeed, and if you do, great, then keep going. Keep proving yourself wrong. That you can do these things, even if you think that you can't. So maybe that's it. Sorry, I had one more thing to say. A little bit of housekeeping. If you are a patron of mine on Patreon for Vsauce 3, you might notice that you haven't been charged in a few months. And that's because, I mean, while the Patreon was really helpful for the one video I made last year on Vsauce 3 with uh, the levitation, but I had liquid nitrogen, I had a magnetic levitator, a phantom camera for slow motion, a FLIR camera for thermal, and the, the money that patrons gave helped get all of that, which was fantastic. But then I just wasn't really making stuff because I was in this funk and I felt really guilty about it. I don't like people giving me things. So I, I paused the payments on that. So if you're a patron, that's why. Sorry there's been no explanation. I've just felt really guilty, but that's it. Okay, um, again, links to everything down there, to System, to Samsung, to my social stuff. And as always, no, wrong channel. Oh my gosh, where am I? Remember that it is not goodbye, oh no. It's never goodbye. It's...